I have been surrounded. Hi guys. I am surrounded with a little bit of everything. And I just wanted to jump on here and get it to you guys. It is Friday and I have to work all weekend. So after work today, we went and it kind of wrapped up the week of shopping and errands and running around and stuff. So I wanted to come home and make a quick video for you. I am sitting here in my wicked oversized cozy Christmas sweater. I would like to show you this, but this has got to be the cutest sweater ever. And it is so cozy. I have my black leggings on, my fuzzy socks. We ran to the Dollar Trees with an S, which was a ton of them. And we ran to Aldi's and Ocean State Job Lot. I don't know if any of you have an Ocean State Job Lot, but let me tell you a little bit about Ocean State. I would have never shopped there in 3 million years. Not because of any reason, like, I just wouldn't have thought it had anything that I would need or want and I wasn't really quite sure about the store and my elderly client that I had for four years that just passed away this past August and I miss it terribly he became like my grandfather I spent my whole week with him and um, I miss him dearly and it's been a hard transition into the holidays without him but every single year for four years straight that I did Christmas with him at his home with him decorating shopping for his family for us he was just he was the love of my life and um he introduced me to Ocean State Job Lot and that place is stellar you can pretty much find anything everything housewares clothing um food items you know necessities furniture um space heaters uh, fire pits who i mean what have you just a little bit of everything so if you have an ocean state job lot near you i suggest you check it out really really reasonably priced stuff really you can find some great finds there it's really cool so I just have a little bit of everything, primarily from the Dollar Tree. So I want to just jump right in and show you what I found because I got some amazing things. And really nothing is pertaining to Christmas specifically this haul. So um, I am dressed for Christmas. I have my beautiful, beautiful holiday photo behind me that I found at the Christmas tree shop last week that I absolutely love. And that that print right there with the camper and Santa and the reindeer um, was only $7.99 and I absolutely love it. Uh, so anyhow, the stuff that I found, a lot of this stuff is like brand new items I've never once ever seen. I got some really cool stuff this past week. So let's just go. Now I showed you, I believe the last time I did a haul last week that I found these English muffins. These are from Baker's Choice and these English muffins, of course, are a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but normally the grocery stores around me are like a dollar fifty and up for a package the size of English muffins. And I like English muffins. You can do anything with them. English muffin pizzas and breakfast sandwiches and whatever. Um, and these are probably the best English muffins that, that I've ever had. And we've kind of had them throughout the week from the last batch I got. And they are the softest English muffins that I've ever tasted. Even grilled, um, it, Richie does them in a pan, flattens them out and grills them, you know, with a little butter on them. They are so soft and good. It's crazy. So... I was excited to find four more packages and what we're just doing with these is we're putting them in the freezer, you know, just to like grab when we need them or to make, like I said, English muffin pizzas one easy night and breakfast sandwiches in the morning before we head out to work in school on his um, in, in person days when he's not home on remote learning. So it's just a quick thing for us and I grab more of these English muffins I suggest if you go to any of the Dollar Trees you look for those if you're an English muffin person because they are yummy and they're made in Massachusetts and I'm a mass 
girl. So I was excited to find them originally. Now I'm excited to pick them up for a second time. Cereal. I knew it was coming. We've been waiting for it. I am so excited. They are starting with the holiday stuff to transition it to the Dollar Tree af after it's leaving the store, like the Halloween kinds and things like that, that are kind of phasing out. And they are ending up where I can pick them up for a dollar. So I found this one. This is the Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. Um, they did have several, several boxes of these, but I'm kind of pumpkin spiced out. I know my son is, so I only grabbed one box because it's a family size. Uh, Cheerios is a nice, healthy cereal for you, and um, I kind of regret it now looking at the box. Honestly, I should have picked up way more, uh, but I only picked up one, but they have these, so watch out for them. This is the General Mills brand. I also grabbed these, which is Star Wars, which is not, you know, a Halloween theme. So I'm not quite sure why the stores are getting rid of these. A special, maybe it's just like an overflow thing. Maybe a store had too many boxes and decided to um, ship off the, the extras to some Dollar Trees. I'm just guessing. I have no idea. Uh, they did have a full shelf of all of these here, which is definitely trendy right now to have Star Wars stuff. And this little guy, Yoda, is um, quite popular at the moment, Baby Yoda. So um, I suggest that you go pick these up if you are a Star Wars lover, your kids are. You know, Yoda's a big thing in your house. That might be kind of fun to sit with your little stuffed Yoda in the morning and have some Star Wars cereal. And these are the big boxes, General Mill brand, the family size, and they had shelves full of them. So I am excited. And this one has the marshmallows in it. And we all enjoy a cereal that has marshmallows in it. Don't lie, you do too. So this right here is a smaller box, but this is the Frankenberries. It has the marshmallows in it. It's another General Mills cereal. Again, there was quite a few of these. I only picked up two. And um, so now I've already got five boxes in my stash out back in my stock room for Christmas week when we're all kind of like spending time home. My husband's on vacation um, for the week and you know, my son will be here and, you know, my father might be over, whatever. Everybody can have cereal. Everybody's having cereal. We're all having cereal. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And then, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to go. So I don't know if any of you enjoy like word searches, um, Sudoku, uh, crossword puzzles, whatever. In the book section in the Dollar Tree, they have these Spot the Difference books, and these are awesome. I absolutely love them. They're really good for your cognitive strength to just, you know, sit and concentrate. And, you know, I know we're all scrolling on our phones in our free time and stuff like that, and I, I'm definitely guilty of that as well, but it's really good to keep your cognitive strength. It's like working out your brain. And it's really good for you to do like the puzzles and things like that. Something that is going to challenge you. These are phenomenal. So I picked these up. I enjoy them. And then Richie saw me doing them the other night and he's like, where did you get those? So I went and grabbed a couple more so that we would have them on hand at the house. If he wants to grab one and do one. And the pictures inside are quite stunning. Um, to just sit there and spot the difference up at the top. It gives you uh, boxes to check off, tells you generally how many differences there are in each picture so that you can check off the boxes as you notice them. But there is a cheat sheet in the back part of the book where if you're having a hard time, you can peek and it gives you like an answer sheet to tell you uh, they circle the area where the differences are so that you can look for it but it's really good to kind of just sit there and figure it out yourself it's really i mean i want to be there somebody take me to this beach area drop me off and let me buy some of those beads please so i grabbed two of these these are some of the pictures that are in here Ooh, cupcakes 
I did bake the other day. I had fun. I'll try to include some pictures at the end of this. I, oh, I love that. I love that. That's so beautiful. These are really fun, guys. I'm telling you. It's really good. Get your kids these. Get you these. Get your grandparents these. Your parents, you know. My mom loves word search puzzles and things like that. And I always pick up these kind of books and stuff for her with some cute pens from the dollar store or some highlighters and stuff. It's a cute little gift and it's important um, to keep your brain strength moving forward. So these are really cute. Grab those. Then, then, then I found these and these are new. I've never seen them before, but these are really, really cute tote bags. And this one, and let me pull out the arms. I think I was in the middle of a thought back there before I switched off talking about something else. And that's why I need to use the puzzles because <laughs> I get distracted really quick and then I move on to something else and I forget about what I was saying. So maybe it will come back to me. Maybe it won't. Maybe I wasn't even trying to say nothing. And I just thought I was, I can't already remember, but the, this is a nice long, you know, arm hole here and the bag is so cute so if you go to like the farmer's market on the weekend in the spring in the summer and you want to put some fresh produce in there some fruit and things like that if you purchase it this is a really really cute bag to do that with oh my goodness farmer's market it is a thin canvas i'm not gonna lie it's definitely a thin type of material but um it's cute and if you put some fruits and veggies in there and don't weigh it down too much or get a couple of different ones to kind of separate it and throw them over your arm these are adorable and I love them and I was so happy to have found them I'm excited for them and then this one I got and they had four different ones but I only picked up these two because these ones were my favorite life is my favorite adventure yes it sure is I've been through a lot of challenges in my life. We have gone a lot of miles in this 40 year old body. We've been through a lot, but you know what? I've never given up on life being absolutely breathtaking and amazing and learning from the good and the bad and taking it all in stride as much as humanly possible. And, you know, and just trying to grow from every challenge and still all the while thinking that life is beautiful and I feel blessed to be here every single day that I wake up and I'm happy, whole, and healthy and I hope that everybody else on here can adopt that mindset or already has it because every day is a blessing and I absolutely love this bag and I can't wait to start traveling again. I have the itch. I have the bug. I am starting to get really antsy. I want to hop in the car. I want to go on a road trip. I want to head down to Virginia Beach. I've had ideas of being down there. I've had ideas of going to New York. I've had ideas of traveling to Texas and taking a road trip. Like I have got the itch and I am like fiending to just go see something different and trying to like branch out and just like enjoy the freedoms that we're supposed to have. I feel really confined right now. And so the Dollar Tree is definitely, um, like my 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 happy place that I get to go every day and pretend like I'm on an adventure so so that's what we do that's what we do and then these it's close to Christmas but I'm gonna use these for next Christmas because it definitely doesn't go with my motif but what I now I found my mermaid stockings last week and then this week I found unicorn stockings and I have never one time ever seen these before. And this is such a beautiful iridescent um, shimmer on it. And oh my God, look at that little face. She's beautiful. I love her so much. And so maybe next year I'll do a sparkly like pastel -y Christmas this year. I definitely went for all of the traditional red and greens for decorating and and um, putting stuff up throughout my house, outside of my house. I definitely went really traditional this year. Next year, maybe I'll make it a sparkly Christmas. So I did get all three that I really, really loved. This one is a rainbow effect. 
it is so beautiful and I just love 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 this unicorn these stockings are so soft and they they they're a good material too it feels really thick and um I just love them and then last but not least I got the pink one and this would be so cute if somebody is having a baby around Christmas a little girl fill that with all kinds of like little blankies and washcloths and burp cloths and things like that and stuffed diapers you know down in it rolled up you, with wipies and and things like that and give it as like a little gift for a brand new baby girl around Christmas I love that pink is definitely a a traditional new baby girl color and she's beautiful so I got those three unicorn stockings I had to do it I loved them and in the theme of like magical mermaidy unicorny style I found these banners and I'm going to use it for my birthday in July for sure this is a banner and it said it says we love mermaids And it did have all of the other mermaid, um, you know, party plates and cups and things like that. And I didn't get any of the other stuff that went with it because I can definitely piece together my own type of theme and just use this as a banner. But this We Love Mermaids is there and I'm so excited. If you are looking for something like that, check your Dollar Tree. And then I found this one and this says Be Magical with a unicorn theme. They are getting all kinds of new, really, really cool, like party supplies and stuff. And I love it because yes, I still try to have myself a cute little themed birthday party and have fun with it. I enjoy it. It's my jam. I like it. And now this, I don't know where this came from. I don't know who put it out or why it's at the Dollar Tree because this is good stuff um hello this is a sequence fabric and it's double-sided and there's one sheet in here and i'm going to open this up for you right now i sure am because i want to see it myself in person and i looked down and i saw this sparkly beautiful thing in front of my eyeballs and i was like what is that what is that in the crafter's square section but it's not a crafter's square product all right i took it out of one bag and now okay there's three of them in here so on the packaging it said that there was only one but there's three of these in here so let's open up one of the three to feel it to feel it and see it shimmering I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with these. I literally have no clue, but I'm going to do something. I'm going to, like, put it on my shirt. I don't even know. Oh, my goodness. Um, I haven't figured it out. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it nice. We look at this. Um, Hello. So, let's see. It says that you can, like, oh, it says that you can, like, play with it and write with it, and you can. All right. So, you just got to find, like, your, your, I got to put it on something. Here, I got this cardboard, too. Let's see if I can, all right. No. Hold on. Don't mind my, my flower hands. Alright. Alright. So if you move the sequences up that way, you've got some shimmery, iridescent silver under there. Ooh! That's pretty! It's fun to play with! Oh, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll figure it out in the next couple of weeks. And that is going to be fun to play with. And even if you wanted to just sit there and have a moment with it, 
and draw little things in it and erase it and draw stuff again for a dollar you get three of these you can sit your kids at the your kids at the kitchen table and just kind of give them these in front of them tell them to draw pictures in it write their names practice writing their names forming their letters erasing it trying it again um make something out of it it's, you know get a bunch of them and sew them together and make a tapestry i mean who the heck knows just do something with it those are the cutest things i've ever seen so it is two-tone effect sequence fabric go create is the brand um visit us for more project ideas it says and it gives you the website down here in the corner uh i know you can't see that but if you see these packages check it out that's beautiful and i don't know why the dollar tree gets that kind of stuff just randomly but there it is and i'll take it so now i want to show you some really cool stuff but i'm gonna have to tell my mother that she can't watch this video because this stuff is for her for christmas and my mother loves the pretty things she loves smelly things just like me and she loves perfumes and shampoos and things like that so i found this here and this is a deep nourishing system mask with sacha inchi oil for dry hair professional hair luxury desimash paris I haven't, I don't know where this came from. I haven't looked it up yet, so I don't know what it um, sells in the store for other than the Dollar Tree, but she loves to try new things on her hair and, and what have you. So I grabbed it and it comes in this really cute, 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 cute little, little tub here. And, oh, it smells it smells amazing. It's got that creamy. Th this smells phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. If anybody has any idea what this could possibly go for, this brand in this size jar, um, let me know if you've ever heard of it before or if you've tried it and it's really good. It sounds good and it smells really really nice so I got her that to try for her hair I also got her this shampoo and conditioner from the same exact brand here so this is the shampoo and the conditioner and it says deep nourishing system shampoo and deep nourishing system conditioner same kind, same brand, same scent. Um, and these are eight. This is an 8.5 fluid ounce bottle of shampoo. And this is a 6.7 fluid ounce bottle of conditioner. So I thought that those would be cute to put together in like a little, a little package for her is the shampoo conditioner and the hair mask. Then I also got this, and this is Purifying Sugar Scalp Scrub with Sugar Crystals, Prickly Pear, Rosemary Leaf, and Coconut. Thicker, fuller hair. Um, so, that right there. And I've never heard of it before, but let me tell you, it is, um, and, you know, it has a lid on it. This stuff sounds good and I can only imagine what this smells like with that type of ingredients in it so I just thought I'd get it for her to try oh and it's a hundred percent vegan sulfate free and gluten free and she is allergic to gluten so um I got that for her to try four dollars four dollars for that stuff and I just got all those things for her hair and I am excited and then I got these for myself and my guys to try. Never seen it before. This is the brand right here. Uh, let 
Richie. Hold on a minute, sorry. Richie. I am back. I'm sorry I cut out. So, all right. So now this. This is the brand right here, which I've never heard of before. So I'm um, SGX NYC Salon Graphics. So whipped, whipped mousse. Frizz free curls, weightless hold, long lasting style. And that's a decent size bottle. Seven ounce bottle. So I'm excited to try that, and Izzy will be too, because he's got kind of like shaggy like hair on the top. Same brand. Under Control Finishing Spray. Medium hold, resists humidity, controls frizz, and clean scent. It's an 8.5 fluid ounce bottle. And then, last but not least, again, same brand. And this is the Bodyguard Protective Texture Spray. 450 degree thermal defense, 24 hour humidity shield body and shine light hold. And it's a seven ounce bottle. Why? Why don't people buy these? I, I don't know. And I don't know how they end up at the Dollar Tree, but I'm glad I found them. So I can put that in a cute little, you know, I can put it in his nice little care kit. And then we can all use it after it gets put into the restroom. So that's kind of neat. So that, and that's completely new. And then this is Ponds, which is a really, really, really good brand. Definitely a great brand. And this is the perfect color complexion, anti marks for natural color, uh, beauty cream, normal to dry skin. It's a, a 1.35 fluid ounce little little bottle there which it's small but for a dollar um the ponds brand can go for quite a few dollars in so many different stores so this little thing i'm excited to try because it's color correction and sometimes my skin needs that so if i like it then it's going to work out great oh and then i found this one goes with with this one that I showed you earlier. And then this is the strengthening shampoo with organic quinoa, boba, and biotin, scalp to strand care for thin and thinning hair, thicker, fuller hair, 100% vegan, SLS free and gluten free. And it's a 12 fluid ounce bottle of shampoo. And unfortunately this one didn't have a conditioner that went with it, but that's okay. And then that's the scalp scrub. So I got all of those things. I got all of those things for like five or six bucks at the Dollar Tree. That are all of those name brands and I'm excited. And then this, I got some more Purell because they, well, it's not Purell brand. It's like, you know, hand sanitizer. The one that comes from the Dollar Tree, the Assured brand. These are the ones I always get, but it's like hit or miss if you're going to get the sanitizer or not. And they had just restocked their shelves and you can grab two at a time. So I grabbed those and now I have like my stockpile of sanitizer. Like we're good. We are covered. And then I also got a new, a new, um, lighter for my candles because they go so fast. They the butane in them disappears. I burn candles constantly, so I need a, a backup for that. My God, I keep finding stuff, and I didn't even realize I got it. Okay, so this is also the Desange, the Desange brand from Paris, the stuff that I was showing you earlier. So it comes in this box, which is really pretty, and this is clarifying clay. Balancing System Pre-Shampoo Mask with Mineral Clay for Oily Roots and Unbalanced Scalp. This is a 5.1 fluid ounce jar. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Like these are really, really cute um, gifts to put in like a care kit for somebody and make like a cute basket out of it. Look at it. It comes with like a little brush on top there. 
and the jar here is really really pretty I love those two colors together so oh oh my goodness that smells so clean so fresh that's a nice gift that's like seven dollars for all of these big size full-size products that just randomly and surprisingly show up at the Dollar Tree right before the holidays to make you um like a nice option to get somebody I'm all about it and then I got my son these facial wipes which I use these all the time at night to kind of like clean and prep my skin before like I give it a really good cleanse and clean it really nice and put on a mask and these are from the Bolero brand. This one is the um, Soothing and Cleansing Micellar Water Facial Wipes with Cucumber and Aloe. And this is the 30 count. And I love these. And I also, my favorite ones are the Watermelon brand. I mean the Watermelon scent, but I did get these for my son to put into his skincare, body, hygiene, like Christmas basket that I'm making him. So that is a that. I got so much stuff, guys. I'm, I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. So let me just try to clear the stuff from the front of my legs so that I can kind of clear a space. Because my legs are cramping up now that I've been sitting on the floor for a half hour. I got these packages here um, that are completely new to me. I don't know if anybody else has seen them. And this is from the Nature's Garden brand. And this is the Mountain Trail Mix. And there is four packages, individual packages in each of these bags. But they do have actual M&M chocolate inside of the packages. Really cute. There are 130 calorie packages. There are four grams of protein. A blended... A blend of salt, peanuts, raisins, M&M's, milk, chocolate, and candy, salted almonds, and salted cashews. And the packaging. Wow, that's pretty. And then this one is the tropical one. And a blend of banana chips, raisins, dried papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. So, those are cute. And it's a nice little quick snack to just grab and go and have in the car which I love now I think I told you about these maple cookies these mini maple cookies these are from Bud's Best Cookies and these are great so I did pick up more because the holidays are coming and just to fill a couple of little dishes with these would be nice to kind of scatter around the living room and the counters when you're just kind of like grazing and picking and things like that. These are a little teeny tiny cute maple cookies and I love the little maple leaves on them and they are my pa that has passed away. They are his favorite type of cookie so I had to have them and I was excited to find them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar for these size boxes. There are quite a few mini cookies in these. The box is quite heavy and filled and if anybody else likes maple cookies, definitely grab these. You open that box and it kind of just punches you right in the nose because the, the maple is seriously in those cookies. Then this is our absolute favorite seasoning to put on everything. And I get this from the Dollar Tree. This is the Kingsford brand. This is the garlic and herb all purpose seasoning. So good. This tastes fantastic on absolutely anything. Richie uses it on everything. And Isaiah said that food has never tasted better. That's what he says. So we run out of that quite often. And now, of course, that I need it, I can't seem to find it anywhere. I only found that one in four different Dollar Trees the whole, whole entire week. Somebody has caught on to my seasoning. So... I'm going to be on the lookout for that. These are the wraps that we get. This is the Tor Tillery. Luria. I don't know. These are the wraps that I get from the Dollar Tree. There's 12 
of the wraps in each and this is what we use to make our sandwiches for lunches and things like that and some nights if we get crazy we will do individual pizzas on here and do like a uh, barbecue chicken pizza with like red onion slivers and the barbecue sauce the cheese and the shredded chicken it's quite good it is quite good or a spinach and feta pizza just whatever individual size pizzas that we want we build them onto here and crisp them up in the oven that's good then I also got Isaiah these and he loves Takis he's obsessed with Takis but he says that these are better than Takis and I haven't seen them in a while but I saw them today so I grabbed them and I'm gonna put these in his snack basket for Christmas and these virus I don't know just you can read it and you tell me what it says this is the chili and lime flavored and it's gluten free and he says these are better than Takis so I picked them up because I found them today and I haven't seen them in a few I've already grabbed all of my paper Christmas plates and things like that at the Christmas tree shop they are quite cute they got little campers on it and little um, station wagons with the wood on the side and the woodland creatures and I got Santa Claus plates and napkins and things like that so I needed to pick up the silverware because remember if you watch my videos I've already told you I don't do dishes during the holidays I get all plastic paper and disposable pans and things like that because that's the last thing I want to do after cooking and cleaning constantly throughout the days and prepping to get ready for the holidays. I don't want to clean all day long dishes over the sink. So we just get disposable stuff. And I just got a traditional red and green for the silverware. And this is the, the 48 cutlery set. It has 16 spoons, 16 forks, and 16 knives in each package. So I grabbed two of those and that will be plenty for just the five of us. It will be myself, my husband, my son, my mom, and my dad. And that is the holiday. That is it. Then I found these and these are brand new as well. And I am beyond thrilled to have found them. They are new bandanas, but they are the tie-dye and i love them so so much as you can see i bought this bandana looking headband at the dollar tree i wear it all the time so this is one of them that i purchased which i'm so happy to have because it's so up my alley and then i also grabbed this one and they had a variation of so many different colors of the tie-dye um, bandanas this one is my absolute favorite I should have gotten a second and maybe even a third of this one it is gorgeous but they had four or five different um, color patterns for the tie-dye handkerchief bandanas at the Dollar Tree today and I only grabbed these two styles but I should have definitely definitely rummaged through them a little bit more and picked up more those bandanas are all me all me that swirly crazy stuff is all me and then i also da -da 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 -da. in the party section now i'm just finding these i wish i had found them a few minutes ago my son is going to be 18 next october so i'm preparing for it now and i hope you're seeing that as an 18 but i got these candles and this is the gold option is this is this saying 18 to you i hope it is so this is the gold option and then i also got the silver option and i am so unbelievably shocked that they had all of the numbers so they must have just gotten the shipment relatively recently because i just found what i needed and all the numbers were there so I am thrilled to have found those. Believe me, I am excited about that. Getting ready for the big 18. And then Richie found this. And this is a 6-in-1 stylus pen. 
It is a pen, a stylus, a ruler, a leveler, Phillips screwdriver, and a flat screwdriver. All in this one pen here. Is that not the neatest thing ever? That's cool. So I grabbed that. They had a bunch of different options for colors. And um, that was really awesome. Then this. I grabbed these because I am a polka dot girl on top of every other crazy thing that I am. I have always loved polka dots as a pattern and these are just black and white polka dot from the scunchie brand. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's from this brand. And sometimes when I like to do my puffs, I need matching scrunchies to put around them. So I grabbed those and they did have a very big assortment of different um, colors for that brand in those size scrunchies. Then my son is really, really big into back in the day buffet um, music and stuff from like my era and what I grew up listening to, to. So we found this DVD today. It's from NWA um, and Easy e Kings of Compton. And he's a really big fan of this whole entire group and uh they we've watched their documentaries we've watched their movies we he listens to their music all the time even though it's from like the 80s and 90s he loves it so i was wicked excited when richie pulled this today from the pile so we grabbed it for him to give him on christmas with a couple of other things that we found him as a surprise on amazon and um it's gonna go together quite nicely then I found my little nephew. Well, he's he's not really my nephew. He's my little cousin, but I think of him more as my nephew. I absolutely love him. He's five years old, and he is loving cars and mechanic type of stuff and bulldozers and all kinds of, you know, construction machinery. He's like a really rugged little boy, and he loves that stuff. And I found these at the Dollar Tree today, and I thought these were so awesome. And these are Action Team. And so it has a little fire truck in there, a little fire truck car. It has the little road sign, and it has a fire station with a sign so that it can set up like a little scene so he can play. And then this one, same brand, has that. Look at this. That is just the cutest thing I ever saw at the Dollar Tree. I mean, let me, like, give these people a pat on the back. They are doing some cool stuff. And this is a police cruiser with the signs and the station. A, a cute little stop sign for a dollar. For a dollar. That is some pretty neat stuff. So... I grabbed that for him to put in his little basket and then my son's little car kit that I'm making him to put all of his necessities for his car needs and his, you know, his um, cleaners for his car and sponges and cl cloths and things. Oh, there are those hiccups again. It never fails. I give you guys like very consistent videos. Surprised I haven't thrown anything yet to be honest with you. This one was ripped the packaging, but this is the California Sense brand, and we have hauled so many of these. We all love these. Every single one of us love these. They do have some other scents, but this is the Coronado Cherry, I believe it's called, even though the packaging is ripped, and these smell fantastic. There are three in here for a dollar, which is good. And um, I don't like any of the other scents that are offered, but the cherry ones are hands down the best. You will love the scent if you are a cherry person. It smells up your car so good. So I grabbed more of those to put in his kit. I did grab another Ajax. This is 100% more. This one is the Citrus Berry Splash of the Ajax Bleach Alternative. And this for my dishes 
And then I needed more soap, so I got Palm Olive Classic Scent. There are three in here, which is better because um, the other kinds usually only offer two, two per package. This one offers three, and we like this soap, so I grabbed another one of those. Now, let's see. I think I'm down to the nitty-gritty of the Dollar Tree. Then I grabbed these today, and this is a Minion cookies that I found at the Dollar Tree today and they had a whole huge self in it shelf and this is from the Nabisco brand and it says new on it but the Dollar Tree has an excessive amount of these on the shelf and they're these cute little cookies right here um and I got them for my son so he can nibble on them if he wants to he could even you could you know like they used to have like the dunkaroos the little packages with like the little icing and the little cookies on the side he can use some of the frosting from my bakery pantry and dunk these in some frosting and make his own dunkaroos with the minion cookies so i grabbed this this is a heavy little box it is a 10 ounce box of little cookies and he can nibble on those through through the weeks that he's going to be home with us I do have a couple of other things, but I'm going to leave those to the side because they are for gifts and I don't want the person to watch the video and see what I got them. So now, on the lines of Shaw's this week, Shaw's has Waters, the refresh brand for $1.99, which is still pretty good for the 24 pack, even though our favorite time to get it is when they're on sale for 97 cents. But it's not this week. They're $1.99 for the 24 pack of that. Um, so we grabbed two waters on each account. So we got four cases today between him and I. And then also for snacking purposes for Isaiah, um, we had the option to get Smart Food or Doritos brand two on each account. So we got some Doritos for him you know, to eat and nibble on or have on the side of like lunch with sandwiches and stuff. So we got him some Doritos and they are $1.47 for a bag this week. And th these Doritos go for like $2.50 to $3, some places like $3.50. So it was this or Smart Food. So on the second account, we got these Doritos in a bag of smart food because I I like cheddar popcorn that's pretty much what I snack on or the microwave microwavable like popcorn that you kind of just put on for two and a half minutes and then it heats up now the other deal at Shaw's is the Campbell's chunky brand for soups they're usually normally like two dollars to two dollars and fifty cents a can normally but at Shaw's this week, they are 85 cents a can. So you can get four on each account, you know, that you create. And I got four, he got four. So we got eight cans for 85 cents each. And we just picked out a variation of all different brands. So that's what we got for that. So that people could just have um, some soup if they felt like it. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to choke. <coughs> I've worn myself right down to the bone. Seriously? <clears throat> I just had a straight coffin fit that literally landed me like on my side with a cramp. And like wheezing because it gave me an asthma attack so it's been like 10 minutes but i'm okay now and there's just a couple more things i wanted to show you now aldi's i did my full grocery order at aldi's today but <clears throat> i did find these which i wanted to show you guys in case your man needs slippers or your son or your daughter or you whoever um, they did have a women's and a men's option for these. And these are nice slippers right here. And these slippers cost $6.99 at Aldi's. And <clears throat> these ones have like that Sherpa fur lining. 
So I got these black ones with that lining for Richie. And then I got these for my son, Isaiah. And this is that really, really nice gray. And this fuzzy lining right here is so soft. You have no, it's, it's so silky and so soft. It's so nice. And I cannot believe that they had these slippers for $6.99. So I got both of my boys some new slippers and they did have some female stuff. So <clears throat> if you wanted to go check that out, that is really cool. I was like blown away by the price of that. And usually like, what do you get men? I've already talked to you about that too. Like, what do you get men? You get them socks, underwear, new tank tops, slippers, you know, things like that. So um, some nice fuzzy warm slippers for Christmas is definitely the way to go. <clears throat> and then last, 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 but not least, I wanted to show you a couple of the baskets that I have put together for people that I love and every single item is from the Dollar Tree. So here is one of the buckets that I got that says Merry Christmas and inside I did women's <coughs> fuzzy socks. I did, oh, this gnome is going to be a problem. Um, I did women's fuzzy socks and rolled them up into a cute little swirls. <clears throat> this gnome was also from the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them in quite some time, but this was a really, really decent sized gnome. Really nice quality, nicely made. A gnome. I got the two to-go cups that come in a package. The, the, they, this one says perk up and I put those in there and then I did five men's dress socks with all different designs to them and that's how this basket came out and so I'll put a little Christmas card in there and um, that's one of the gift baskets and we're given coziness this Christmas so I did some socks and some cute little mugs to have like a little hot cocoa in or some hot chocolate whatever they want while they're cozying up together and I think it came out so cute and every single item was from the Dollar Tree and it put together a really really cute little basket and then this one is like the cookies and hot cocoa night with that nerdy nummies brand for an apron a cookie cutter some of the other Dollar Tree cookie cutters a bag of marshmallows hot cocoa some cookie mix in there in one of the baskets and that is a sweet little gift for somebody in their family to be able to just have like a cozy quiet night with their kids baking cookies mom have the cute little apron on you know that is that's adorable thank you Dollar Tree you always do it for me so I am not a high-end you know, big price tag girl. I, I believe that it's the thought that counts, the effort that's made and the love that's put into it. And, um, who is not on a budget guys? I mean, if you're not, that's fine too, but I don't know anybody that isn't on a budget. And even if you do have a lot, a lot of money, you should probably budget because you could be okay one day and then not okay the next. So why not live within our means? Me, I try to live below my means. I always have. And um, stretch it a little further and still think of people and show that you care. So that's it. This is going to be a long video. I've stopped this video, I think, four different times. So I'm not even sure how long this video is. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoy all of the new things that I've found at the stores this week. I hope that you all are happy, healthy, loved, blessed, and being extra careful through the holiday season so that we can all make it into 2021 and hope for a much better year than any of us have had in this 2020. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed, healthy, happy whole week. And I will see you guys next week in the next video and off to work I go. So I got to get ready for bed and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.